Elena Fisher, foreign correspondent. <laughs> hey, Sully. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, no. Sorry, that's sort of frowned upon here. Oh, right. You two can hold hands, though. <laughs> How are you, Elena? Good, thanks. You, uh, you look great. So, against my better judgment, these permits will get you through most checkpoints. Okay, great. Oh, and I shouldn't be worried about what's in those bags, right? <laughs> of course not. No. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right. Remember, you're journalists now. So try and act respectable. Think you can handle that? Uh, I think she's talking to you. <laughs> so what exactly are you two reprobates up to? Uh, it's just a little historical research. Right. So that explains the big rush? Exactly. No cursed treasures? Nope. No diabolical warlords? No. You are the worst liar. What? You are. Oh, come on. We're not going to start Excuse this, me. are we? Just the car, where is it? Oh, it's over there. I'll just take the bags and meet you. Mate. You're still wearing it. I, yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. It helps in this part of the world. Oh, really? Seriously? Don't flatter yourself. I see you're still wearing yours. What? Oh, oh, yeah. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You don't understand. I finally proved it. Drake lied about his route through the East Indies. 400 years ago, he came here. Why, Nate? That's what we're here to find out. No, I mean, why this obsession? I'm, I'm just worried. I can take care of myself, all right? I'm not talking about you. <laughs> what, Sully? He would go to the ends of the earth for you, Nate. Just don't ask him to. Come on, that's not fair. What is that even supposed to mean? All set? Yeah. You could just drop us at the edge of the city, that'd be great. Not a chance. You two are my responsibility now. I'm not taking my eyes off of you. If you're trying to pick up Francis Drake's trail, we should head to the old quarter. Ah, so this is the new part. Well, it's all relative. The city was founded at least 3,000 years ago. All right, well, lead on. All right, there. You see that tower up ahead? That's where the old city starts, so we need to make our way over there. Salam. Okay, through here. All right, now I need you to be on your best behavior. Yes, ma'am. No, I'm serious. The police, they have patrols everywhere, and we don't need to arouse any suspicions. You got it. We're just gonna cut through the market. Okay, it looks like they got the street blocked off. I'll go see what I can do. You two just stay here. Hey. She's still with her. Oh, yeah. Apparently it helps in this part of the world. What does that mean? I don't know. <clears throat> so? All right, it's no good. They're not letting anybody through. Let's try over here. I know another way around. Uh, 
Shukran. Thanks, pal. Good thing we've got you with us. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, up here. Yeah, it looks like we're not getting through here either. Gonna have to find another way around. Hey, up here. There's gotta be another way through. Come on, follow me. Two all right? Yeah, on our way. Guys, I don't think we should be in here. Oh, come on. We'll just cut through. It'll be fine. Just don't break anything. Here we go. Down there. Those buildings would have been hundreds of years old, even when Francis Drake was alive. Right. Good thinking. Hey. Hey. Huh? Talbot. Who? He's got Cutter's notebook. What? Wait, what? Charlie Cutter? Yeah. No time. Sully can explain everything. Hey, wait a minute. Meet you down there. Alone, could you? Come here. Not a complete boss. Get him. Hey, you boys. Oh! 
Somebody gonna fill me in here? Who are those guys? And what does Charlie have to do with all this? He was working with us on this one. Wait, what was? He's not dead. No, no. Him and Chloe. Wait, Chloe too? Yeah, but they both bowed out when Cutter broke his leg. He broke his leg? He's lucky he didn't break his damn neck or fall like that. He's fine. Just between that and burning to death, I think I would have jumped too. Not helping. All right, just tell me what you're really looking for. Uh, this? <laughs> Come here. Sully, check this out. I think we lost him. What do you got? It looks like we stumbled right into our secret entrance. Well, that's our girl. Well, not going down there without some hardware. Go talk to that rug merchant we just passed. Oh, no guns, weapons. He's not really a rug merchant. Oh, <laughs> right. Hey, just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? Yeah. All right, Seriously, what is all this crap Nate, no, you're giving you me just about Sully? with me. Those guys are not here for historical research, and neither are you. Th this is about that Marlowe woman, isn't it? Yes, but look at this. I finally got it. And it's just like I said. That led to this. And this let us here to a hole in the ground oh well, it's a glamorous life come on admit it you love all this as much as i do no no not anymore really huh okay well why don't you just uh walk away oh me me walk away <laughs> that's funny <sighs> Shotguns? Why not? What the? What? He only had two. <sighs> Great. All right, just give me a hand with this. All right, ready? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> uh, it's cute. What? Because it's a well. Shall we? Hey, guys. Secret entrance to what? What's down there? Only one way to find out. Another non-answer. You expected something different? Yeah. All right, we're good. Come on down. Just a cistern, kid. You sure this is the right place? Yeah, it's it's gotta be. So what was Sir Francis doing all the way out here anyway? He was on a secret expedition for Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, to find the lost city of Ubar. Yeah, the Atlantis of the Sands. Under this city. No, 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 it's in the middle of the Rubel Kali Desert. But it just tells you how to find it, supposedly. Uh-huh. 